Hi, I'm Dr. Gloria Richard Davis. I'm a fertility specialist. I also specialize in perimenopause, menopausal care, along with other women health specialty at UMS. So uterine fibroids are really a very common benign gynecological disease. It is where the muscle of the wall of the uterus overgrows. And you see these unique, discrete little balls in the wall of the uterus, sometimes in the cavity. Um, from a fertility perspective, the fibroids that negatively affects fertility are the ones that's in the cavity. Fibroids are really very common in general. If you look at uh, the general population, it's probably 20 to 40 percent. If you look at African American women, however, it's 40 to 80 percent. The way that women typically present with symptoms from fibroids is heavy bleeding, um, sometimes the increase in pelvic pressure because the uterus gets bigger, they may notice that they're going to the bathroom more frequently. Those are some of the more common symptoms with fibroids. From a treatment perspective, there are multiple options. Unfortunately, there's no medical treatment option, not yet. There's research being done in that area. But from a surgical perspective, there are some very conservative things that we can do, one of which is a myomectomy. If the fibroid is in the cavity, then we can actually go through the cervix with the hysteroscope and remove the fibroid, leaving the uterus intact. If, on the other hand, it is not in the cavity, it's truly in the wall of the uterus, then we have to decide, does it really need to be removed? And that depends on her symptoms. If she's symptomatic enough that we're going to remove it, it can be done laparoscopically um, and we can also use robotic surgery to remove the fibroids. Again, it just depends on the location and how many, because many women have a single fibroid, but others have, you know, 10, 20 fibroids. So a lot of it depends on, on how severe the fibroids are. So in treating uterine fibroids, the options that we have for surgery that's really minimally invasive we can remove it laparoscopically through little incision under the belly button and a couple of other small incisions where we use instruments that are like our hands. We can also uh, use the robot in the same way so that it really enables us to remove more fibroids in a minimally invasive way. In being able to remove fibroids through a minimally invasive approach, that allows the patient to go home the next day, sometimes even the same day, and their restrictions on activity is really very minimum. They don't have to worry about lifting. They can generally you know, go back to their normal activity in two weeks. And by that I mean back to work, taking care of their family, whatever other activities that they were doing. There's really no restrictions.